Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the World of Warcraft Hardcore series on Stitches with our Frost Mage. We are level 37. I did a couple of quests in the Arathi Highlands. Nothing major, major. Uh, mostly grinding, which is why I did not record it. Nothing major happened there. So... We are rejoining the adventure at the quote-unquote end of level 37. I'm hoping to get uh, level 38 soon. And <clears throat> we are, uh, over the course of time, uh, now doing Desolace before we're going back to Strangle uh, Thorn Whale and maybe get another group in Scarlet Monastery. So that's the plan. The name of the game, as they say. So without further ado, let's jump right into the action. We're starting out with the Sand Towers and I'm moving there. Let's go. All right, first off, uh, let's start handing in the quests. We're now fully locked in with uh, these guys here and we got Onego as the quest, uh, which... Maintain your reputation, bring the Dryotis shard. Where was that again? Um, I think it was up there, right? Never mind, that's in the Swamp of Sorrows. Uh, that indeed is a quest uh, that uh, that moves us quite uh, quite a bit. All right, interesting developments. So we are uh, going a little bit slower in Desolace. I instead found a group for Scarlet Monastery, did the graveyard and uh, the library. You've seen that in the last episode, so I'm not repeating it. And I got a Hypnotic Blade plus an offhand. How great is that? And now we're going to do arms section which is a bit higher level second highest level here so we're slowly but surely going all the way to the road. group that we have is fine uh, funnily enough one with two warriors but Zuk Zuk are the off tank here we're second warriors dealing a lot of damage because he's twinked out if you allow them to not uh, to not tank but instead deal damage, then warriors are really good at that. Unfortunately, they have no other form of crowd control. But yeah, still good. So we are from our uh, from our quest perspective. Let's take a look here. So we got one quest complete called Hearts of Zeal. Then we still need Voril's Wedding Ring, which I think uh, was somewhere in the graveyard. Not sure though. And we are in the uh, the main quest into the Scarlet Monastery, is where we basically have slain uh, the Houndmaster, and now we're on our way to stay Herod. But the duo that is running the show here at level 42 might be a little bit of a problem. Okay, great. It's a hard fight. If people don't know it. Anyways. I'm focusing on crowd controlling and making sure that mobs are not running away. That's the number one reason that gets people killed. And we're back with our good friend uh, Rashnak. Where's a similar online pattern? Uh, apparently, plays whenever we are playing and is a good tank, so maybe like grouping up with him. Yep, 
in the arm section we have a lot of physical mobs, so very neat. Yeah, as I'm saying that there is a caster, a conjurer, but mostly physical mobs. So lots of armor and little spells. But we're soon going to enter kind of the second part of the dungeon, which is through this door here. And from there on, it's a very narrow corridor. And said narrow corridor is absolutely infamous for heads, as uh, enemies are just running away. Get the conjurer down first. <laughs> Rushnak is an experienced tank, so I don't know that he will have problems pulling here. The one thing that might be worrisome with us is we did very, very well and had an incredibly aggressive playstyle in the first two parts of the dungeon. So, throttling that down once the mobs are becoming a little bit higher level is not everybody's type of tea. Specifically, our warlord uh, wants to just damage over time all of them to get some fat DPS out of it. So this, as you can see on the minimap, is uh, the part where it gets a bit more tricky. Also, the pulls are getting bigger and bigger. There you go, we finally aggroed someone else, but luckily it's just one person, but that, that is how easy you can aggro. 
in here and imagine that would uh, being a complete new patrol good i'll sit through that just getting mana up because now comes the a little bit more difficult part By the way, I have put uh, the level up into icy shards, so we got nice crits if and when they are happening. Let's see if I can fish for, uh, for one. So far, no loss. Yeah, there we go, 350. We got up to the, uh, 375 uh, floor without uh, that point, so I assume we can get even higher, but these guys have a bit of uh, resistance. and less he's still level 37 so these mobs are even but uh, that makes a huge difference the higher they become the less damage he will deal Let's get some buff food. No reason not to always have buff food up in the dungeon. By the way, my new main hand and off hand, I need uh, dagger uh, specialization. I use them, so I can buy that. Good old cannons. Good, at least this time. If I can see the pool before it happens. And it's also a little bit easier.
Because that's just a pack of two. I can sit through them. Getting mana back up. Good, so... <laughs> Almost at the end of uh, this passage. Oh, that's a nice set of quadrants. Strike interrupted. Okay, so still need to get around here and then it's time for the boss of this section. Who we should be uh, good dealing with should not be a problem. Tank is switching to the shield. proximity because uh, so far every single dungeon when he pulled it was uneventful that's what you want to see in hardcore uneventful dungeons 
something completely over the top and no clown fiestas. He's a little bit of a tricky guy. Number one, the door locks. Number two, uh, he oftentimes spins around and that can cause issues. So we don't want to trigger him without everybody being absolutely ready. There's a lever to open the door. Good old Herod. He's immune during his spin. Could have saved a little bit of mana there. Is still spinning to this very day. There you go. Herod's shoulders. Nice item. group is confident since it worked so well that we can also do cathedral and there is a good ch uh, chance uh, the end boss is level 42 uh, which is not red uh, for uh, any of us and Rushnag is relatively heavily buffed so we should be fine with regards to that however white main and uh, her paladin lover the duo there is a 
bit of a challenge. Uh, it's a difficult fight. Okay, we're in the cathedral. That's where it starts at level 38. And uh, pretty much goes up from here. It's definitely the place where you want to have a bit of crowd control. And it's a place with a lot of ads. So we're second rolling now, which is flat. We should uh, be accepting that. Getting full mana. The courtyard, aka uh, the kind of area that uh, the open area uh, is where most of the patrols are running, and that's also where quite a few eds can uh, come. So far, clean. Uh, the very difficult part, um, or the more difficult part, happens in the actual world because uh, there are a lot of things that just have additional um, additional enemies with them, or can trigger patrols. Clever, he's pulling uh, them directly from the garden. Very good. says fuck it I need uh, the herbs wow 
Wow, second set item from the Scarlet set. If we had the plate wearer here, well, someone would be very happy. Fabulous. As long as one side is clear, it should be good. grind this year for pure XP. <laughs> and the 60 mage pulls, yeah, pulls half of uh, all of the mobs outside and just goes to town. Everybody else leeches off. In hardcore they change it. Uh, the moment that someone is outlifting the instance you're not getting any experience. Plus, given that you can only do an instance once a day, there is not even an incentive of doing it. I think that's not a bad uh, call, it's a good change. Good, they should be fine. Back to full mana while see single pulling. All of this here needs to be pulled. Going back to full mana, because now a couple of double pulls and potential heads are going to come in. Priest is always at full mana, which uh, shows us that the group is doing uh, very well. So not a lot of healing effort at the moment. In case you're wondering why am I using crowd control if it's just a double pull, here's the thing. You could argue, you know what, uh, get one more frost pulled out. Sure, uh, that is fine, that's a, a 
a bit of damage, but then the priest needs to heal. You can't use uh, their wand for extra damage. Once in this case here, it's pretty uh, linear. So in my book, crowd control is super good, which is why I love the mage, the strongest crowd control in the game. That's the right call. We'll just get the wandering mobs off. Potentially this Centurion back here. Not sure what we're going to see. Good time for rebirth. Good, and now we're rocking all the way up to level 40, which is fine. But yeah, the cathedral is a little bit rough as so. well. Getting all of the controls out one by one, and this is where the the oh wow that is so good definitely neat. Uh, too bad that would have been a good That's a good hood, uh, hoodie. Quite a bit. Oh, that's another need. Fantastic. Dang. 
I'm getting outrolled once again. Good item for not dropping. bad the refugee point defenders are in the middle of uh, rati highlands they are guards and apparently he oh. Oh, too close. losing your character to that. Good single pulls, I can just drink through them. Never mind. Definitely want to shoot the wizard with a stupid arcade explosion. Careful here. Matter of fact, it's careful everywhere in the cathedral. So kicks in nicely. And I'll be sitting right here drinking up. Okay, the next one is going to be a tougher one. No, doublet. Okay, nice. I did not know that. I thought they would come as an egg of four. And here's the deal. You need to clear out the entire chapel before engaging High Commander Morgrave. Because that guy calls all of the chapel uh, uh, personnel to reinforcements. So you don't want to uh, fight the entire chapel, unless you do have a level 60 mage. You need to reapply a buff food.
Fabulous. So, self buffed, ready. Ah, oh, that's a single. Okay. okay, what we're going to do is we're clearing both of the sides now before engaging high main. that our priest is not incidentally pulling high main that will suck. I love it how Rashnak already uses the moon to indicate what he wants to get you. to drink up whenever I get a chance. Careful around the corner. And if my memory serves me well, there were a couple of chests in here-ish, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a secret passage. Oh, it's been a while, man. Good old Fairbanks. Directly interrupting his stupid heel. Stamina brace are not exactly what we need. Uh, well, stamina, yes, but leather brace are not exactly what we need. You can see everybody keeps a respectful distance. That's good. Well, Stron has been just good so far. I wouldn't hang them there, it's very close. I need to make sure that these guys are not running. Spicy.
All right, we're giving ourselves a fresh upgraded food buff. And we're full. Good. Let's go. This paladin will go down. Unfortunately, he's level 42, so that's simple. And afterwards, uh, his lover, White Mane, will come out, resurrect him, and then it's go time. Pretty much. High level also means a uh, harder time for us to not be resisted. You can see the warlock who is level 42 is having a field day here. Enter the stage white main. I'm not going to use uh, Will of the Forsaken, I think it doesn't even uh, work here. But it's funny that she ticks down so heavily. Alright, White Mane is the main target. Mid fight. All right, come on, it's getting down. This stupid bubble. There we go, and the shield. Fabulous, really. Good job. Fantastic. Well, um, well, that was a good group. Not much more to say, really, other than GG's. And let's teleport uh, to the Underdark. I think I'll end uh, the episode uh, here because uh, we've done everything that we uh, could and we got half a level out of it. A little bit uh, different than I would have expected but definitely a lot of uh, fun and it was a good gig. Thanks a lot for watching. If you appreciate uh, the run and Skald Monastery in general leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>